Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dramatical Murder with me, Mindy. Alright, so, uh, recap. Uh, Alba is a delivery dude, or he works at a store or something, and he's been told to go run, uh, delivery of something to the courier, and he has this pet robot named Ren that's a dog and is so adorable, and, uh, now he is following Ren's instructions, entering a narrow side street. <clears throat> Once I get through here, I'll be close to the courier. The thing that acts as a divider to the four parts of the old resident district is a street called Al Yagi Street. On Al Yagi Street, there are lots of stores where you can get common items cheaply. In contrast, there are many maniac hobby stores in the back streets. Sounds like Diagon Alley. And, um,. With a nocturne alley off the side, because as I walk into the side street, a group leaning untidily, a group leaning untidily against a dirty wall stand out. So we got a dirty ass group of kids here, I think. Kids, uh, bums. What kind of group is it? Like guys taking turns biting into a silver drug sheet. That sort of atmosphere. What's wrong with punk kids these days? There was a time when I thought those kinds of things were normal. I was the same way. But hey, it's not like I'm old enough to speak like a grandpa. I'm finished with that kind of thing. <laughs> totally. Yeah, right, Alba. We all know. Alba stays the thing. As I passed between the guys hanging out, the contents of their loud conversation reached my ears. This <laughs> So yeah, it really happened. So many things hijacked in the head. Like this? Hi- oh. Hijacked in the head through the drugs. Okay, gotcha. What the hell is that? A forced rhyme participation? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. A rhyme with some random side, and the opponent is crazy strong too. But wouldn't that mean Usi's not there? If so, is it even possible to do rhyme? What are they doing? Rap battles all day? Poetry slams? I'm really curious. Seems like it's possible. I don't really get it though. And if you're not even prepared for anything, isn't it impossible to fight? So can't you refuse? Apparently there's no questions asked. Anyway, being forced to be pulled in, and then beaten, it's like a drive. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. They seem to be talking about Rhyme. Rhyme is an avatar type online fighting game. When opponents connect their consciousness online with a device, they can experience a ritual battle that feels real. There's no notifications as to when and where it's happening at all. With Usi, who performs the holding and judging of the game, appears, that place becomes the field. At first it was a free game made by an amateur. The rules are loose and apparently there is no Usi either. When it gained popularity fast, Toy Inc., affiliated with companies, finally became sponsors. Oh, Toy Inc. affiliated companies. Mm. Then there is a strengthening of the system with adding Usi and setting official rules, which is what Rhyme is today. <coughs> well, since I'm not doing Rhyme, it doesn't concern me. Oh, this is flat. I'm gonna drink it anyway. Oh, it's not flat. Ha! Huh. Excited. These little things excite me. It is really warm, though. <sighs> I pass through the alley and walk into Al Yagi Street again. Al Yagi Street. I can see the courier sign at the end of the wide road. While walking towards it, I notice a thick crowd in the middle of the road. It seems to be a loud fight. Curious onlookers gathered and made noise. <laughs> English, man. <sighs> I continue to walk trying to avoid the whole mess. A stir in the crowd suddenly occurs. 
followed by a shrill scream. Hmm? Hmm? I look into the center between the curious onlookers, standing on my tiptoes. A big bulky man shamefully lies on the ground while another man sits next to him. The man standing was facing away from me. Even so, I immediately recognize him. A bright red kimono and a big sword. It could only be him. You're a big guy, but you aren't that much of a big deal. I can't believe you'd make a mess in front of such a fine lady. High pitched voices. I'm not gonna do it. <coughs> when Kojaku taps the sword to his shoulder, the heart eyed girls rush to him while stepping on the man lying on the ground. Sheesh. Uh, no. I'm really sorry. A woman uh, no. standing at the distance approaches Kojaku and lowers her head in a bow. Oh, I was selfish and I told him I wanted Kojaku-san to do my hair, and he... <laughs> so cheeky. Yeah, um, no one, it's your turn. The embarrassed woman seems to be the lover of the man still laying on the street. Perhaps the two tried to enter Kojaku's shop and started an uproar or something. Kojaku controls the surrounding woman gently with a hand. Gestures and smiles at the bowing woman. Ojo-san. Sounds like an asshole. So you're you're you think that I feel nothing less than honor but privilege to be a hairdresser. Then again, you're all my precious customers. It is really important to keep the line in order. Hi. Yes. Your boyfriend was a bit pushy, but he was thinking about what was best for you. Don't blame him too much, okay? Well, please do come again someday. When you do, I'll be all up to you. Hi! 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 Incredibly quickly, her eyes sparkle and she blushes up to her cheeks. Did this really have to happen? Where this was going, so they started pu to push around the enchanted woman. ちょっと。はい、はい。いつまでそこにいんのよ。どいてよ。あの、紅茶さん。ブロックスは、はい、書いたでしょ。私、ブラッドス、ヘイクチェイ。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、は
Don't call me out. Don't call me out. Not now. This is bad. Let's pretend I didn't notice. I turn on my heels, quickly start walking away. Oi! Matete! Oh my god, won't this guy just leave me alone? He's probably in love with his voice. Kojaku, disregarding my attitude, runs after me and catches my arm. Here we go again. Kojak! Oh, okay. Aoba! Yeah, it's Aoba, Janeka! Aoba, it really is you. なんだ、ミスクセナ。仕事中に通りかかっただけだし。仕事中配達か。During it's like a sub weapon. However, there are too many people, so speaking is difficult. And the woman's eyes are so scary. Yeah, crazy fangirls tend to be super scary. All this commotion here. Ah, yeah, Points at the man who is face down on the road. Oh my. If you don't give her a rest of this place, that's it. Stop. 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 By whom? I look around and see. Feeling jaded, I look at the women who were glaring back at me. It almost feels like they're saying, it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man. If you get close to Kojak, I'll never forgive you with nothing but their glares. I thought this game was gonna be full of gay dudes, but apparently not. So I look like at least uh, that easily. Well, it's fine. But... Kojak is such a good person. He's not like an ex. This guy. But he certainly is skilled, so I won't say anything. Kojak has been aware of the merits of his looks for a long time now, and... Not to put it bluntly, he's casually confident. He's a casually confident man that's pretty good at fighting. He works as a woman's hairdresser at his own pace, and he seems to be quite famous for it. He works according to his own whims and sets up his signs when he wants to. There's no notice, and he doesn't take reservations. Despite that, people always line up immediately. Whenever Kojak touches your hair, it's supposed to send you to heaven. You're going to orgasm. While this dude is just... He has pretty nice hair himself. Through my own eyes, this good guy act seems nothing but cheap. Ooh, mysterious bastard. Anyway, keep the fooling around with the boundaries. How many women do you think are crying off in the shadows? Keep saying that, but it's shame for a woman to be a woman when she offers it. Women are very beautiful. Oh, I don't want to be a woman. I don't want to be a woman. Women are pretty and cute, so I want to be gentle to everyone. Kojak-san! まあ、それはそれでいいんじゃないですかね。じゃ、俺も行くわ。I oh, guess it's fine to like that. Whatever, I'm going. Oh. おたくさん、早く。ちょっと、次は私が言ってもらう番なんだから。As soon as I was finished talking, the woman went back to mommy ma Koji. Kojaku. Standing in the middle, Kojaku looks at me as if he's remembered something. Ah, so da. Mata chikajika, omae n toko ikkara. Taesan ni yoroshiku. Best regards to Taesan. 
Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. I give a short answer and start walking again. Even so, that guy didn't seem tired at all. He does anything he likes because he says women are treasures. But for me, it's just impossible. Isn't it said that people like him are a certain kind of character? While listening to women's bubbling voices behind me, I walk to the courier. A specialized shipping office. Delivery works. I enter through the sign bearing automatic doors and am greeted by the smiling face of Yoshi-san, who sits at the reception desk. Thanks, as usual. I bow slightly and put the paper bag on the counter. <laughs> A small dog with dangling glossy fur sits proudly on the counter and closely watches my movements. It's the sign dog of this shop, Yoshi's All Made to Clara. I'd like to send this, please. With experienced hands, Yoshi checks the address and pushes a nearby button. A box next to the counter opens and she throws the paper bag inside. The courier is a shipping service that sends packages immediately to anywhere in the old resident district. Even though we're on a small island, no one could possibly walk the same distance within a day. That's why in this town, where automobiles and such are inconvenient, this works. Now then... With this, my work for today is finished. Well then, excuse me. Aobachan, are you going back to the shop after this? Yeah, no, I'm going for the manager is closing the shop early, so he said I can go home once I'm done with this. あら、そうなの、いいわね。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラマ。ドラ
あスクラッチでしたっけなんかやばい連中が最近よく出没するみたいですねそうそう刑務所の囚人たちで作られたチームらしいじゃない確かちょっと前にもあの辺で誰か誘拐されたとか建物が壊されたとかそんな話があったでしょ怖いわよね。They don't care if crimes are committed. For example, when passing a policeman, he has to get on his nerves, or even just a little bit. He'll be punched, or in the worst case, arrested. They're just like Yakuza. Oh, Very much like my aunt. Yoshi san sends me a meaningful look with sparkles in her eyes. I think it's fine. What? 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 Wait. When I tried to hurry to the exit, I'm stopped by a different voice than Yoshi Sans. Huh? I wonder how the blue one is doing. Hello, Kurelechu! So you're not. That's right. Claire Chan is a very good friend of her children. Yoshi lifts Claire in her arms and looks at me with eyes full of expectation. Unfortunately, I left him at home. He's in that bag, isn't he? Were you going to leave without having him say hello to me? When she presses me like that, I don't. I know I can't escape anymore. I'm sorry, Ren, but endure it for a little while. I take out Ren, who's in sleep mode, from the bag and tap his head lightly to start him up. Alba, what's the matter? Ren, eh, Clara, say hi to Clara. <laughs> Even the robot is like. <sighs> Ren's tails and ears droop. In front of him is the cocky Clara Chan being held by Yoshi San. <laughs> What is it? Is he still asleep? Where are you, Clara? I'm fine, Ren. Clara lies her tail joyfully. Yoshi-san lowers the corner of her eyes and smiles. Really, Clara-chan and Ren-chan are such good friends. So, the meeting is over. Oh, wait a minute, Abba-chan. Just one thing. Just a minute. Sorry, I knew you were leaving. When I was freed from Yoshi-san and went out, it was already night. Ren, good job, Baba. If it can't be avoided, I'll do what I must. Ren crouches down in the bag wearily. Clara seems to like Ren in such a manner that when her eyes meet, it looks like he's begging for help. The personality of all maids can be set to one's liking. It changes with each environment, little by little. As a result, a difference comes out in the chemistry between all mates, just like with people. Ren seems not to like Clara, but unfortunately for Ren, I think it's a bit entertaining. 
Are you okay too, Alba? Uh, After Yoshi-san stopped me, I was treated to cake. Huge ho hopping of whipped cream on it. She'd made it in a cooking class. More accurately, I was forced to eat it all. Thanks to that, I now have severe heartburn. So, uh, let's go home now. I pat Ren's back to encourage my fellow soldier, who has barely evaded death, and begin walking towards home. Alright. Alright, this is where I'm gonna stop. I have to go do stuff with my day and my life. Maybe go back to sleep. Bye, internet. <laughs>